Welcome back to BB101. I'm your host, Amy Stevenson. And right now we're at Yoga Shack downtown London. We're here with Lisa Shackleton. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Thank you so much for letting us crash your place. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Well, let's just start off with what are some of the benefits of yoga in the prenatal stage? Well, in general, yoga is known for being a stress reliever right. and actually a great form of cardio and strength building too. Okay. But in prenatal, it's so important because it allows the moms to slow down and connect with their breath. For sure. And that prepares them for labor and really prepares you for after the baby comes, you know, those stressful times, <laughs> baby's crying and just need to yes. regroup. <laughs> and so um, the other things we try and prepare a mom for is delivery. And mm -hmm. we support any, any style of delivery from right. home birth to C-section, but it's ideal for mom to be active and, and calm. Absolutely. And so we work on um, the physical strength of the poses okay. and the meditation aspect. And then we also do some what's called vocal toning. Okay. And we do pelvic floor toning too to help oh, protect uh, and, and strengthen up the pelvic right. floor. Which is very important. For labor, for labor and, and after. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. definitely. That's awesome. So before we start, I think we are going to try out a couple things, but mm -hmm. are there some things that moms need to know that are dangerous or not to do during pregnancy when doing yoga? Sure. Well, we always ask moms to come with the support mm -hmm. of their doctor or midwife. Right. And assuming that that's all, uh, everything's a right. go, <laughs> then um, there are some things that aren't ideal for expecting moms, like, okay. like deep twists. Okay. So you don't want to be doing a big rotation. Okay. You don't want to be doing anything that's going to cut off blood supply mm -hmm. to the baby. So, you know, laying on your back for an extended period of time and that even goes for sleeping. Right. Cuz down your down your lower back is what's called the vena cava valve okay. and that blood supports mm -hmm. the baby. And so right. but the thing is, we never want to have fear. Mm -hmm. You know, your body will will support you so you would get pins and needles things like that before you just shut off the blood supply right. to your baby <laughs> but we don't spend a lot of time on our back or on our belly of course in of class course. <laughs> and then there's a few other poses that I always urge moms um, to be careful with like deep squats okay that's great for active labor right. but leading up leading up to pregnancy you want to keep the baby in there keep right we don't want to get anything started <laughs> exactly before everybody's ready exactly that's awesome so when we do you want to get started sure that'd be great <laughs> the first thing i like to do when we start class is mm -hmm. just remind moms to connect with their breath and connect with their baby right so i ask moms to place your hand on your heart okay and your hand on your belly and just sit tall close your eyes and sometimes you know moms are rushing to get mm -hmm. here and they, maybe they have other kids or busy job or whatever yes <laughs> and so i say you're here you mm -hmm. made it or maybe you're doing this at home so just take a few deep breaths and set your attention intention to just move with your breath and support your baby and if you're tired then maybe that means napping or if you're ready to go then then we'll get started great and so open your eyes I recommend placing your hands on the front of your shins and we'll just get the spine moving so okay. we can sort of move this way this is a modified cat pose and then opening up the chest and looking up and this is creating a lot of space for mm -hmm. your baby if you think about it as the baby grows there's not much room so we want to no. open up the core and nice. the torso mm -hmm. and create lots of space and That's lots of great. space for you to breathe too right because you want to breathe right uh, yes please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so we want to keep keep everything going absolutely so That's we'll great. do that a few times and that's mm -hmm. um not never rushing it's not like a yeah. a cardio type thing it's just okay. connecting i like to, s to suggest that an entire inhale to open and an entire exhale. Okay. So if you're in a yoga class with a group of people, don't worry about moving beside your neighbor. Right. Just move with your breath. Great. And uh, we're all different, different babies, different bodies. Right. So come on, on your, onto your hands and knees. Okay, perfect. And I recommend moms to make your hands level because when one hand's in front, it actually creates a twist in your body. Okay. We want to keep everything centered. Great. Okay. Exactly. And this as your baby grows, this creates a really nice hammock for your baby. Yeah, so there's right. some hanging here and that, I remember can, that. <laughs> that can feel really nice for your baby too. Yeah. And we can do those same poses again, cat and cow. So inhale to the, for, for cow pose right. or then inhale, look up to the sky and for cat. Curl. Yeah, so inhale, Great. open, exhale, curl. So we do that a few times. We also want to think about strengthening your mid-back because mm -hmm. as your breasts and your belly grow, it can put a lot of 
pressure there and tightness. Right. And if you think about, we already drive a lot, type a lot, yes. things like that. <laughs> so that can be tight anyway. Right. And then as we work on strengthening that, we'll do some balancing. So think about, come to a neutral spine, mm -hmm. look a little bit in front of your mat, okay. and then inhale, pick up your right arm and reach it forward. And then, depending on where you are with your balance, you can extend your opposite leg, oh <laughs> keep the toe down, or even extend it off like the mat. That. So some moms, if you want to do a modified version, you can put your foot on the floor. That might be a great place to start. Right. And uh, don't judge yourself and know mm -hmm. that wobbling is the growing and is the right. developing. So right. wobbling isn't failing, right. it's learning. So then That's come great. back and do the other side. So just a breath or two on each side. Inhale to reach. And when to get strong, push this hand into the mat. See how that okay. helps you to stabilize? Yeah. Oh, Especially the index finger and the thumb. Mm -hmm. And then switch, come back to cat and cow. And I like to do one more because cat and cow, which I think opens up the chest and sort right. of realigns you. For sure. And then we'll do what's called a modified sun salutation. So okay. you can pick up the right knee and step it in front. Place your hand on the thigh. Now another thing to think about is I ask moms not to push on their knee joint because right. when you're pregnant, and maybe we'll get into Ooh. the pose and then we can talk, allow yeah. the hip to sort of open up like that and then you can walk that front toe a little more and see how that's opening up the right. left hip. Oh, for sure. And then square that up and lift the chest. That feel okay? Oh, yeah. And to make that a bit more challenging, you could bring your arms up. Just know that when the arms are over your heart, that's a lot of work for your body, especially with a baby. Right. So you never want to push that. Yeah. But that might be part oh, of developing cardio strength. You, oh, oh yeah. that's great. <laughs> so then come back with the hand on the thigh and then exhale back to table. And then I would recommend one cat and cow to regroup and then inhale, step forward with the other side. Great. Like so while yeah. you're here, I'll just talk about your knees a little bit. Okay. One thing that's very common is sometimes moms will push on right. the one leg to sort of get them up. But when you're pregnant, your body is creating a hormone called relaxin, mm -hmm. and that's what helps your hips and expand for delivery. But that's it can great. also loosen your joints. So right. you don't want to be pushing all your own weight. And so um, something to think about is how I suggest for moms to mm -hmm. get up is to come up with one foot like you yeah. are, have your other foot on the ground and then place your hand on your thigh never your knee okay. and step the right hand or the right foot pardon me okay. under you leave both of them there and yeah. then come up with your head last roll up tall and take a deep breath and come on <sighs> oh, up. Oh that feels good. Oh that's great. <laughs> awesome. A standing pose that's really common and a really nice way to build strength and balance mm -hmm. is called tree pose. Okay. And in yoga we like to emulate the, the virtue of the name of the pose. So okay. rooting down like tree roots right. and feeling, feeling calm. Feeling and tall. That's great. <laughs> okay, so root down with your right foot and inhale, bring your hands to your hips. Okay. Inhale, pick up your left knee, open up to the side and place the foot to the inside of the calf. Now see how you're... Inside of the calf? Yeah. So not going too high. You don't want to have the foot ever pushing against the knee joint. So right. some moms are flexible or they're experienced with yoga mm -hmm. and they can bring their foot up here and that's great. But know that it's more important to Ooh. have the foot below. <laughs> and especially when you have a, a baby a belly, that's growing, it, it right. can throw off. And yeah. you can even have your tiptoe down on okay. that foot. Just that stomach. is great. And then inhale your hands to your heart center. And even that is working your balance. For and this sure. can be done even holding onto the it. kitchen counter while you're right. boiling some pasta or yeah, whatever. You just need a moment of peace. That's great. <laughs> and then from there, you can reach your arms. You can come here. Right. You can come behind. So a lot of variation. Of Just do both sides equally for yeah. the same time. Oh, that's really awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lisa, for giving your tips and it. tricks and showing <laughs> us a few things. For more information about Yoga Shack, you can visit their website. And there's more Baby 101 coming up after this.